This is a rotifer cyst. I believe it's a philodyna. And I'm almost positive it's a cyst rather than an egg. Since you can see the uh, mastax inside there just at the uh, top edge of the golden area. There's his two eyes, her two eyes. Uh, I think she's just in the process of waking up. This was taken from a sample off the uh, inside surface of the glass lid of my uh, large microbe aquarium, which is a three gallon glass carboy. It looks just like one of those uh, old candy jars in the old drugstore movies. And the inside of that has got a, a lot of algae growing on it. And this morning I took a cotton swab of it and put it on a slide. And there's all kinds of rotifers in it. I don't know how in the heck they jumped up there. And the only thing I can think of is they were in the exploding air bubbles from my... Uh, air pump that aerates the tank and when the water level was high they must have uh, gotten blown up there from the bubbles popping on the surface of the water that's all I can think of I can't un unless they're climbing out of the water and up the sides which is entirely possible I guess it's humid enough in there and I'm using a uh, Nikon uh, Phase contrast DL lens here, a 40x. But I'm using a bright field condenser on it. And this is going down to 20x to give you an idea of the size. Those are air bubbles, those two black things. And all the green stuff is some of that uh, algae. And the lens is a Nikon uh, 20X Plan Apochromat. There I'm uh, closing down the condenser to try and get some more uh, contrast which uh, they say this is less there's less detail here but I think it looks better I mean what's the use of detail if you can't see it actually this whole movie is just a test and here's a Here's a 10x shot just to kind of give you an idea. This is also a Nikon DL phase lens, but uh, using a bright field. And we're coming up on the end of the movie. 